an absolute cult classic Korean dish, bulldog or fire chicken. But today I'm making it a little bit differently because I'm making it with blue cheese. Around the beginning of 2020, bushfires and a pandemic devastated many Australian regional towns, but they are recovering and rebuilding. I'm on the road to visit some of these areas as they spring back to life and collect some of Australia's best produce along the way. Join me on my road trip for good. I'm in South Australia, headed for the town of Lobethal, 43 kilometres east of Adelaide. It's one of the most exciting food regions in Australia, but also, I grew up here. So for me, this is a place that holds a lot of memories. The bushfires wiped out so much of the hills' as food and wine production. And my old friend, local cheesemaker Cherie Sullivan, lost nearly $2 million worth of produce as well. So Adelaide began in 1999 when my parents moved my brother and I to the Adelaide Hills. Um, they wanted to start a business and they started as a goat dairy but struggled to sell the milk so built a tiny little cheese factory. And the Adelaide Hills is sort of a cross between Australian scenery and European sceneries. We are a cooler climate because we're at higher altitudes so we grow beautiful fruit up here, amazing grapes. The food manufacturing up here is world class. We make a cheese that's really full flavoured, but not too overpowering. And so our whole goal has been to make cheese that people want to scoff and want to have a lot of, um, not just one mouthful and think, oh no, that's a bit too strong. So what's this one? This one is our original blue cheese, and it's made with what we call single milk, uh, so no added cream. Mm, this is really nice. It's got a, a really strong umami taste to mm. it. And I find that full flavoured, but not overpowering. Yeah, definitely. And definitely. that's what we've tried to do. We've tried, tried to create full flavours, but something that hopefully people would go back for. On the day of the fires, we um, got a phone call around 11 o'clock saying it's time to evacuate. We weren't allowed back in the town for probably around 36 hours. And when we came back to our factory, we realised that all of our cheese had been completely destroyed through heat or through smoke. So. We ended up throwing out about 36 tonne of our handmade cheese. It was very demoralising for the staff. We and all their hard work literally had to be thrown in the bin. I think everyone was a bit shell-shocked uh, and, and it had been that a war had come through, but I think it, it can bring out the best in the human spirit as well. But it was just amazing to see the rallying and, and the local bakery just giving away free food and the, the fences that got helped to, to rebuild. It was really, really amazing. Bulldog is actually an incredibly simple dish to make. You make your fire chicken sauce from these ingredients, you combine your chicken with it, and then later you grill it with some cheese on top. Most often people use mozzarella, but I think blue cheese is a perfect accompaniment. You might think it sounds weird, but if you think about it, it's not. The thing that blue cheese has is it's really savoury, it's got a really strong umami with it. So together with this kind of spicy and sweet chicken, you then have this umami of the blue cheese. Think about buffalo wings with a blue cheese dip. It's a similar kind of thing. If you didn't want the strength of all that blue cheese, you could use mozzarella combined with blue cheese if you wanted to. But I think just a touch of blue cheese on top brings out the savouriness of this otherwise very sweet and spicy dish. First, the ingredients for the fire chicken sauce. Garlic, ginger, and nashi, Asian pear. You see quite a lot of bulldog recipes that don't include this, but I think particularly when you're serving it with cheese and definitely with blue cheese, it's a really good, delicate sweetness that you add to the dish that matches really well with the cheese. So we're gonna add some nashi in there. We've got sesame oil, black pepper, soy sauce, and this is mulyot. Mulyot is a Korean malt syrup. It's sometimes made from rice, sometimes made from other things like apples. It's kind of got the, the texture and consistency of honey. It adds a really nice gloss to this chicken dish, but it also adds a lot of sweetness as well. I actually prefer a little bit extra sweetness on top of how sweet your mulyot is. So you, if you wanted to substitute honey or rice malt syrup or whatever, you could easily do that. I add a little bit of sugar in as well to give it a bit of extra sweetness. And then the chicken. I've got chicken thighs here because we're doing this in a boneless variety. You could use chicken breast or you could do it on the bone if you wanted to. I like it on the bone, but it's a little bit easier to eat if you're using the boneless chicken thighs. Now these are kind of your two key ingredients for your fire chicken sauce. I've got Kochujang fermented chili paste and kochugaru. 
red pepper flakes. So your gochujang comes in hot and mild varieties, so you can use whichever one you like. And it's the same with the red pepper flakes as well. I have a milder variety and also super hot varieties too. So if you want a more mild version, obviously you use the more mild ones. If you want that searingly hot, famous bull duck heat, you use the hotter varieties. Let's put the sauce together. First, I just want to grate my aromatic. So my garlic, ginger as well. Peel that first. And my nashi, I need about half of this. Now into this, we put the rest of our ingredients. Sesame oil, black pepper, soy sauce, our rice malt syrup, mulyut. Now for the hot stuff. Should I use the mild one or the hot one? I think the hot one. This is one of those moments where you think it's a good idea at the time, but then when you come back to it later, you realize you should have gone more mild. That said, you know, this is a dish that I used to eat all the time with my friends. It was kind of a ritual. Every Friday night we'd go to Koreatown when I was living in Tokyo and we'd have this dish. And we all agree that it was one where the hotter it was, obviously the more painful it was, but it actually was tastier. I think there's something about the heat of this dish in particular that just brings out so much more of the, the aromatics. So again with the gochujang, I think I'll go for the hot one too. It's good, but it's hot. Now for the chicken. I've got chicken thighs here. I just want to trim off some of the fat of these and cut them into some nice bite-sized but relatively large pieces. Sauce is done, chicken's done. Put that over by the stove, wash my hands, and we'll get ready to start cooking. This is a dish that's served in the vessel that it's cooked in. So you want a pan that is a couple of things. Firstly, you want it to be snug so it can fit this chicken and sauce in there quite nicely. And then secondly, you want a handle that can go into the oven so it can grill the cheese on top. Often in Korean restaurants, you'll see this in a, in a nice two-handled pan. I'm gonna use a regular carbon steel frying pan, but obviously with that handle that can go into the oven. A lot of bull duck recipes will combine the chicken and the sauce now and just cook everything together. But I think you get a much better result if you actually fry the chicken first until it's lightly brown on the outside, not all the way through, and then add the sauce in and cook it from there. And I'll fry the chicken in batches first. Nice and brown. Get all this chicken back in the pan. And in with our fire chicken sauce.
lid on and low heat for about five minutes. Now look at that. <laughs> that looks fantastic. Cheese can go on, crumble it or grate it on however you like. Just into the oven for a couple of minutes with an overhead grill, just until the cheese starts to melt. While it's in the oven, I'll just quickly chop some spring onions. I'll grab the chicken out of the oven. And that looks and smells amazing. Sprinkle some spring onions on top. Serve that with some pickled radish and some perilla leaves. And that is fire chicken, bull duck with blue cheese.